There are three ways to create records in your lead file. One is clicking on the lead file from the Families menu and then clicking on Add Lead from Lead File menu on the left. Entering the family name and clicking Save will recreate a lead file record. You can enter other information such as contact name, email address, etc. and click Save Changes. The second way is to move or archive a single family while in a family's record by clicking the Archive Family button. This action will move, not copy, that family from your main database to your lead file. The system will warn you that the move will cause you to lose some family data and will give you the opportunity to save that data to an Excel file so you can re-enter it later if needed. If you try to archive a family with active students to the lead file, Jackrabbit will prevent you from doing so. The third way to add leads is to archive multiple families by using the Mass Archive button on the Lead File menu on the left. This lets you archive multiple families. It's a four-step process. The first step is to choose which families to archive by entering a variety of criteria, such as a families that have not had a student enrolled since date. The second step is to preview and confirm the families listed to be archived. To stop a family from being moved to the lead file, uncheck the Process box on the right. Then click on the Confirm List button. The third step is to export the list of families' data to an Excel spreadsheet or CSV file, preserving the information that would otherwise be lost. And the last step actually moves the information to the lead file. You can see the families by using the List All Leads or Search Leads from the Lead File menu. Keep in mind, if a family has more than one student, a separate lead file record will be created for each student. If you are not able to see any of these menu options, your database administrator should check Permissions in Tools, Manage Users, and Permissions.